Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm going to be going over the best PvP add-ons in Dragonflight. A minimalist guide. No bloat, nothing you don't need. Only the best possible add-ons. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you guys want the TLDR, here it is. But keep watching if you want to learn how to actually min-max these add-ons, set up these add-ons, etc. Let's start from the top. We have Barf Tender 4. You actually don't need this one at all. The reason I use this add-on is because I can move the queue back to the mini-map, and that's pretty much it. I can also hide my bags. Um, so you don't need this one, all right? But the queue on the mini-map is key. Next. Big debuffs. Big debuffs is an add-on I would highly recommend using. With big debuffs, you can um, see CC on the nameplates here. So if I target someone else, you can see that they're feared. Based on that, that's of course just test mode. You've probably watched either PvP videos or streamers use this add-on. Pretty much every single high-rated player, except Peekaboo, uses this add-on. I would not play without it. Why? Because it's gonna increase your awareness tenfold it is so good every time someone pops an offensive cooldown a defensive cooldown or there's some type of cc you're gonna be more aware that it's actually being used especially if you're new to the game so download big debuffs i set mine up a little different than most people but the stock big debuffs is great i probably wouldn't recommend changing it but if you guys do want to copy my settings i have it in a way where the unit frames themselves only show um cc's spell immunities immunities and interrupts so like cc's and immunities um and then the name plates which is like above their name like like here kind of um like on this guy would be like over here um shows offensive buff so i can see if they have an offensive buff and a cc at the same time kind of um and then for raid frames, I think I have default, except I have max debuff set to one. But other than that, it's pretty stock. I think with big debuffs, if you just want to run it stock, that's also fine. As you can see, this hunter trapped him, and you can see the freezing trap there. Um, great add-on. Next add-on is called combat. Combat is, is not necessary. Um, if you're a rogue, though, I would say it's 100% necessary. What combat does, we'll see if this guy's nice enough to stay here. If I spell steal, there'll be a little X. That's indicating he's in combat, and right when it disappears, boom, that's now the target is out of combat. It works on my focus target as well. The reason this is nice to know if someone's in or out of combat is if you're a rogue, so you can sap them. I like to play rogue sometimes, that's why I have this add-on. It's also just nice to see if someone's about to drop combat, they can get a re-stealth, or they can go for a drink, or you know this or that. So that's a good one. Um, necessary if you're a rogue, not for the rest. Details. Now, details, guys, you... Probably want an essential tool to impress that impress that chicken, right? That's hilarious. Um, mainly to study and learn the game. So like in this last game, I could look at this Moonkin and be like, wow, what was he actually doing to do so much damage? And you can look at the breakdown and, and read each ability and learn what they do and go to a death log and really see what killed me or what didn't um, quite kill and look at healing breakdown and look at what's important to kick. And it's a good tool to learn the game, okay? Um, so I would recommend details. You don't need it to actually improve in the game, but outside of the game, so you can re-look at what abilities did the most from each class, the damage breakdowns, healing breakdowns, etc. Um, next, frame sort. Really good if you're a healer. Um, I like to play it on my healer or DPS, personally. Um, frame sort is an awesome add-on. It's actually a newer add-on that you can sort where you are in the group. So... In arena, I can be in the top position, the middle position, or the bottom position, assuming it's 3v3. And um, every game, I'm going to be at that bottom position, middle, or top. So it's just like, do you like bottom or do you like top? And you get to choose with this add-on, which is fantastic. Okay, you can do the same with dungeons, raids, or world. And um, you can, and there's more options too with sort by group, role, or alphabetical. Okay, so that's really, really nice. Um, the reason that's nice is because you can see that you're in that same spot every game and it's not like you have to search for your own nameplate ever. It's just always there. Next, health bar color. You don't need need this one, but I really like it. You can probably tell that's what I'm using because my health, oh, the shuffle popped. My health um, bar is blue and my rogue's health bar is yellow and the hunter health bar is green, etc. We got a Tolveron pop. We'll see if we can finish this video in this uh, one minute game. Next, we have Leatrix Plus. This is just a quality of life add-on. You don't actually need it, but there's some stuff I like in here. I'll quickly go through my settings just to mute game sounds, hide talking frames, enhance the mini-map. That's how I make my mini-map smaller. Um, hide the chat buttons. 
those are all my settings just repair and so, like automatically stuff like that um, next we have omni bar i use pretty much default settings for this i don't go too crazy but in omni bar you can track enemy cooldowns okay so you can track things like grounding totem tremor um, you can check or uncheck anything you want i personally just generally track kicks uh, myself and then sometimes like stuns like leg sweep or kidney shot all right guys we're out of that game now we got omni cc here as the next add-on omni cc is not a hundred percent necessary but i do think it's very good the one of the reasons i like omni cc over the default in-game cooldown count is because it color codes and sizes um in relationship to the remaining cooldown left on this specific ability so as you can see when i blazing barrier it's yellow yellow and kind of like a medium size but when there's five seconds left or less it goes red and it's a little bigger five four three two one and now it's off cooldown what's really nice about that is when there's a lot happening in a game and you're using your peripheral vision to notice what's on or off cooldown it's going to give you that much more awareness that your thing your abilities have a cooldown on them or don't um and when it's longer than two minutes it's white so right here it's white with two minutes here it's yellow with the 15 seconds and then once i uh, once again when it's less than five seconds it's actually red and it, it increases or decreases in size as well in accordance to, um, to the the remainder of time left on that specific ability. I think Omni CC is just just a great one lightweight But you don't need it next Omni CD. I would say you need this one. This one is pretty darn good Omni CD guys is going to help you track your teammate cooldowns. This is really good in solo shuffle um, There's another add-on that does the same thing. It's called arena team tracker. Take your pick. Um, I use Omni CD um, one of the settings I like in this is to uncheck display inactive icons um, Just so they they're hidden unless used um, You can have it either way that you prefer but you can go through every class and customize it I have a couple customizations here. It's pretty close to stock, but I've changed to Use uh, showing the defensive cooldowns and unchecking some of the offensive ones that I don't care about and for me when I look at what my teammate has left on Omni CD to the left or right of the frame, whatever you set. It's like, are they going to die or how much do they have left to live? So when I'm playing solo shuffle and I'm with a warlock, I can I know if they have dark pact or unending resolve currently up. If it's on cooldown, how long it's on cooldown, and if my warlock has wall still, I'm maybe I'm just going to say, oh, he's fine. I'll just sit. I'll sit this. Or if my warlock has nothing left, maybe I'll trinket and poly to peel or trinket dragon's breath to peel, so my warlock actually lives. So any information on the screen. Um, some of the information on the screen is necessary because it actually impacts the decisions that you make in the game and without that information you're not in as good of a position to make those decisions so you need the information to make the adequate decisions in the game next we have s serena now you can use gladius you can use s serena um the the link for s serena is actually s serena updated if you google it it's up to date for dragonflight um, also, if you guys want a full list of all these add-ons with links for all of these add-ons, down below in the description, there's a Discord link in my Discord. I have all the add-ons I use, the descriptions for all of them, and profiles that you can import for all of these add-ons. So for Omni CD, um, I, I have my profile exported, so you can just import and get my exact settings. All of that's in the Discord down below. Um, but yeah, S Serena, it's um, S Serena updated, guys. It's gonna show you arena one two three very simple um doesn't get much more very complicated like it's just you have you can see the enemy trinket you can see the enemy racial you can see the enemy cast bar you can see the enemy diminishing return you can see the aura on the enemy so you can see if they're in cc if they pop an offensive cooldown or a defensive cooldown s serena or gladius is going to give you incredible awareness um compared to if you didn't have the add-on i would say it's 100 mandatory take your pick between s serena and gladius I like S Serena because it feels lighter weight and it feels more like stock um, UI. It doesn't seem as mechanical or whatever, but Gladius is fine too. Take your pick. In terms of the setup um, for S Serena, I guess I should say, if you go to layout, I use the Zaryu layout. Uh, shout out to Staco for putting in a Zaryu layout there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, you can have anyone you want, but if you want my setup, it's just Zaryu there. Next, we have Tell Me When, um, and that's pretty much my last add-on. Um, tell me when uh, is kind of like weak auras for dummies. Um, you can use weak auras. You can use tell me when. What's nice about 
um, weak auras or tell me when is you can show buffs and debuffs on the center of your screen with weak auras, you can actually do a lot more than that but what i use it for is to show certain buffs or debuffs in the center of my screen so if someone like bops me um, instead of seeing the buff up here i can see it right here if i use combustion instead of having to look here i can see combustion right here okay um so i can have more awareness on the cooldowns i'm actually using if i have alter time up i know what how much longer is left here essentially what i use tell me when for is all of the important buffs and debuffs i have here once again my tell me when export is in my discord the link is down below and you can copy all of my tell me wins um that i have set up and these are for all classes, so Rogue, Priest, and Mage, the, all the classes that I play. On the left here, I have a bunch of important debuffs to track, like Mind Games, and Death Mark, and Thought Steel, and Dark Sim, um, and Chrono Loop, Final Reckoning. Here I have a Spell Steel tracker, so when I use Kleptomania, I want to see this cooldown of Spell Steel, because I normally have uh, Spell Steel hidden, it'll show here. Um, and a couple other ones, like a reminder to rebuff with that Arcane Intellect and Poisons for my Rogue. But that's pretty much it. I also um, um, want to note that you can do all of this with Weak Auras. Tell Me When is just maybe an easier way to do that. But you can do all that same stuff with Weak Auras. So take your pick, Tell Me When or Weak Auras. And that's all my add-ons. That, those are all of the mandatory add-ons for Arena. If you um, made it to the end of the video, really, all you need is Tell Me When or Weak Auras, S Arena, Omni CD or Ability Team Tracker, Omni Bar and big debuffs those are probably the best five on top of that you probably want like details but the rest are kind of nice frame sort health bar color leatrix plus bartender combat and uh, yeah those are all the best add-ons war game helper helps you do war games id tip gives you that id tool tips um and battleground enemies is great for rated battlegrounds but this is more of an arena video um but yeah those are all the add-ons i use the setup's pretty basic um these are all the best add-ons for pvp i would say 99 percent of top pvpers use at least these five add-ons in their arena gameplay guys if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did not enjoy the video give it a thumbs down and talk to me in the comments about what you guys want to see in upcoming uploads peace